Hey friends, welcome to the part 38 of this playlist. You have an option to click the join button, become a member, Cloud Kernel or Cloud Ninja members will gain access to all the certification contents. So these are all real certification questions on AWS Cloud Practitioner. You may get same or similar questions in the exam. Focus on the concepts, boss. If you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe and stay tuned to the latest content, latest questions, latest solution. This channel is a no free channel. No free, no nonsense. That means it is only purely about knowledge and content. If you want to reduce your learning curve into half, this is the channel for you. Let us jump into the questions. Now you may go through so many other testimonies in the comment section of th this playlist. There are various videos. You can go through that playlist, all the videos and look at the comments. So many people, so many people have cleared the certification. So let us look at the this question. What it says is, uh, which of these are security related services in AWS? So first one is saying multi-factor authentication. Is multi-factor authentication security related? Yes, boss. In IAM, you can club multi-factor authentication. It will work. But here they are talking about physical tokens. We do not have provision of physical tokens. You can install an app on your mobile phone. You will get the code sent on that app as a multi-factor authentication. So since we are talking about physical tokens, this looks wrong. Let us look at option B. Option B is all about you know, trusted advisor. It is just like a chartered accountant who gives you advice about income tax, saving the money. Same to that, you have trusted advisor. It will give you advice on security checks. Is that the only thing it advises on? No, it is just like your father, man. They will advise you on cost, saving the cost. They will advise you on how to perform well, study well, build a career. They will advise you about everything. Don't worry. Just like your parents. Is this a security related service? Yes, boss, you can treat this. It is also a security related service. You can do that. Now, what about data encryption? Yes, it is also because it will tell you about encryption at rest, encryption in transit. What are the ways of encryption? You can encrypt data at rest in the storage areas. What are the storages? You have EBS, you have S3 buckets, you have databases like RDS, Redshift. Is database a storage? Yes, boss, database is a storage. It stores the data in a particular format. Is the data saved in the same format in S3? No, S3 is an object storage. RDS and Redshift are database storage storages. Plus, you have an option. What is the option? You can use keys for encryption. Where do you save keys? You save the keys in the KMS service, key management service. Is that is the software-based encryption only way? No, boss. You can also use cryptographic key storage from hardware. That is Cloud HSM. Can the messages, the queues, in SQS be encrypted? Yes, boss, that can also be encrypted. So what are we talking about? We are talking about data, data in the messaging queues, data in transit, data at rest, everything. So C is my answer. Now, penetration testing is not something which AWS offers to you. This is wrong. Penetration testing, a lot of time, you, if you have worked for banks or different financial institutions, you must have seen auditors like PwC, KPMG, they perform these audits, they perform penetration testing for the networks. AWS does not give a service which you can use for penetration testing and it is not a security related service. So D is wrong. Let us look at E. E is telling copyrighted content detection. Suppose you store a video which is from the movie war that Yashraj Films produced. If you store that file in AWS S3, it will not be smart to say that, hey, you know what? This is a copyrighted Yashraj Films owns this copyright. It will not detect that. Okay, so that is not a service which is available in AWS. Recently, if you want to do it, use what you should use? Chat GPT. So there is a video just I have posted uh, on 10th of January 2023. Please go through that. It will give you a lot of details about what is Chat GPT, what are the use cases, where you can use for fun, where you can use for entertainment, and where you can use it seriously. Got it? So these two would be my final answers, final answers. Now, this is the next question. The question is very simple. Boss, I want to prevent SQL injection attacks. Whenever you see this, apply a thumb rule. What is a thumb rule? You see SQL injection attacks. Answer is WAF. SQL injection, WAF. SQL injection, WAF. But if you have shield, then what? What is the thumb rule? Shield, DDoS. Shield, DDoS. Shield, DDoS. So this is a matching documentation on SQL injection and how WAF Classic is useful in this case. So what happens is in terms of SQL injection, a SQL code is inserted to every request to extract data from your databases. 
and these are unintended intended whatever so in order to allow or block such web request to appear you can use waf to prevent these attacks so option b waf is my final answer but what about security groups this is wrong because security groups if you want to uh, provide or deny access to a set of ip addresses then you use security group what about network acls this is called access control you can control the traffic to the subnets using acls this is called access control list you can say these are the people who need to be allowed or denied inbound and outbound traffic at the subnet level sql injection is not about inbound outbound traffic so network acl is a different use case and i already talked about aws shield this is used for ddos protection okay so this is all about ddos hence my friend waf is my final answer now let us look at the next one in this question you want to identify two answers first is if you are splitting a single account into multiple account it is just like you have a bank account if you split a single bank account into multiple bank accounts are there any advantages are there any advantages of having multiple bank accounts so first one says yes boss there are and the first one is it will provide administrative isolation between different workloads if you have two bank accounts you have some uh, suppose a money coming in from one salary and uh, like first suppose you are working uh, for two like you have two jobs okay if you are in us and you have two jobs and you are doing like a consulting work uh, part time here part time there you can have two bank accounts and you can manage these two bank accounts you can have different administrative uh, efforts in these two bank accounts so you can isolate isolate these okay but in india if you do this if you work two places it will be called moonlight because you are a slave you are a slave of the company not only 9 hours is there anything above 9 hours is also there that belong to the company itself so uh, why did uh, do that because it is there is a concern that they, you might be working for competitors and the data might be compromised that is a concern and that is why it is not allowed in many of the companies but that is a different topic so option a looks correct now let us look at option b option b sounds so silly it says that discounts can be applied on quarterly basis see if you have one single bank account or two accounts in the same bank discounts can still be applied to both accounts if you have one account it can be applied to one account if you have two accounts it can be applied to two accounts so there is nothing special about it c is also wrong because it is saying that post transition from s3 to s3 glacier in separate accounts will be less expensive no whenever you do s3 to s3 glacier in the same account or separate account the cost is the same the glacier is cheap here also glacier is cheap there also it is like if you transfer money into bank account 1 or if you transfer money into bank account 2 the charges are the same let us look at option d and this looks correct because what is happening is you are trying to reduce the risk why do you have two bank accounts boss why do you have two bank accounts suppose you have two bank accounts you have some money split and there is a uh, malicious attack what is a malicious attack a phishing attack and somebody hacks your password or etc and uh, suppose your bank one gets wiped out you don't worry you will still not be on road you still have money in your bank too and you can still be alive so this is my answer but if you had only one bank account and a malicious attack happens your risk increases and if one day the bank account gets wiped out you are gone man all your savings are gone now option d is saying that quicksight offers access see quicksight will offer some privileges in a single account or multiple accounts both the places none of the resources none of the features none of the services have been designed in aws that it will give you special access if you are on multiple accounts and it will not give you special access if you are on a single account it does not work that way resources are resources it will work irrespective of whether you have one account or multiple accounts so these are my final answers now if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe stay tuned to the latest content latest questions latest answers this is all about certification this channel is all about certification we are not talking crap things like you know what hey you know what how did i clear my certification in 3 days those things we are not teaching we are teaching pure content content that matters content that will help you clear certification so this brings us to the end of part 38 these are all real certification questions please focus on the concepts only concepts will help you clear the exam aws cloud practitioner is the easiest certification exam so if you clear this certification will your life change no boss will your life change by 20% no boss will it change by 2% yes it will change by 2% now people will say okay these guys no cloud so will you get a new project in cloud no you will not get a new project in cloud how will you get it you will at least have to do aws solution architect associate at least do that so see you in the next part stay tuned i will keep posting many more such contents